You may have already done an exercise in class or with your class where you investigated the refractive index of a solid semicircular block of perspex. You should have found that the ratio between the sine of the angle of incidence, that's this angle here, and the sine of the angle of refraction, that's this angle here, remains constant. The next exercise, or an extension to this exercise, is to investigate the angle of refraction, or the refractive index, of some other substances. To do that, we will use one of these refraction tanks. Start by taking your light box, and a word of caution here, your light box over time will get very hot, so make sure that you um, don't touch near the bulb where it gets hot. But start by taking your light box and making sure it's lined up with one of these lines, these dotted lines here, pointing towards the normal line. Take your tank and line it up with the normal line. There is, it's going to be hard to see on the camera, but there is a small dot here. So line that up with the normal line and the zero at the top. And make sure that the base is in line with this horizontal line. I'm just going to fill the tank with some just normal tap water. Now, the light isn't too good here, but you might be able to see that we have a few rays of light going on. We've got one ray here that's kind of bouncing off the refraction tank. We're not interested in that one. We have another ray here that's just coming straight off the, the light box. And it's actually sort of on top of the water. So we're not interested in that one. The ray that we're interested in is the refractive, refracted ray that's going through the water, which is coming out up here. So we're going to mark the paper where that ray is coming out. And we're going to label it so that we know where, it, where th this beam was coming from. We're calling it A, B, C, D, D. Now, without moving the tank, let's move the light box. So change the angle of incidence. And let's mark the refracted light. So let's call that one C. And let's do that again. And B. Take the tank away. And connect these up. So take our protractor and we'll measure the angles, the angles of refraction for B, C and D. So you can see from it's from the normal line to the line of refraction, so that we can see that B is ten twenty two degrees. That C is ten twenty 
and D is 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. And we already know, because I've written them down here, that B, 22 degrees, is going to go with B, 30 degrees. C is C, and D is D when you do your calculations.